Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Katie, and today we're going to be talking about Copacetic Cosmetics Cutie Box, specifically. Fun, exciting, I love it. This is one of my favorites. This is like a top tier one for me. Uh, if you don't know what Copacetic Cosmetics is, they're an indie makeup company. They sell eyeshadow, nail products, lip products, and body care products, and I think also like face care products. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten a like, moisturizer from them that I liked. Um, But anyway, that's Copacetic indie makeup brand, you know, who doesn't need, you know, more of those in their lives. I think we all do. Um, so this is a great way to check them out. They have this, this is what I'm talking about, a copacetic monthly, like, situation. Copacetic monthly. Uh, there is what we've got here, the cutie box, and then there's also the claw box. Uh, each month there's a theme, and with the cutie box, you get to pick one nail, one lip, and one eyeshadow, so a sample size nail and lip, and then a single eyeshadow pan. And then for the claw box, you just get all three of the nails. The cutie is $12 a month with free shipping, and the claw box is $20 a month with free shipping. And I want to point out that they do have like a points reward system, um, so when you make a purchase, you get points, and these do count towards your points. So, I don't know. Just thought I'd mention that like these, you get points, <laughs> you get points for it, even though it's a subscription. I don't know why you wouldn't, but I thought I'd point it out. So, uh, with that kind of you know laid out laid laid bare let's let's actually uh, get into what's going on right now all right so I've scooted over I'm gonna put what you could have chosen because you do get to choose all of your items right here and then I'll show you just in real life what I actually chose sound good all right let's go the theme for August which is what we're doing a little late but I wanted to show you my items and what I got so that's what I'm doing right okay Cool. Um, so the month for August, the month for August was August. The theme for August was Alice in Wonderland, which, I, who doesn't love that? I know I do. So let's get going. I think that was nail it with like the names of all the stuff as it relates to the theme. So for nails, you could have gotten a game of croquet, a hot pink curly base loaded with a magenta fuchsia holographic glitter. Oh my gosh. Um, who are you? Uh, I, like the caterpillar said, I just ran with it. A uh, blue cyan crelly, and then paint the roses red. A crelly solar polish that changes from white to red when exposed to the sun's UV rays. So exciting! So you got to pick one sample of these, and I chose. Who are you? Just because look how pretty this color is. I think it's so bright. I definitely don't have. A polish like this. I was thinking about Paint the Roses Red because I thought the UV was fun and it would also be a way to check my sunscreen, but I just like this color so much. Um, and their curlies I do enjoy quite a bit. Very, very pretty. Thought it was nice, nice classic clean color. So that's uh, what I went with. All right, next up, lips. First on the docket is Curiouser and Curiouser, a liquid lipstick that has a purple-blue duochrome base with rainbow shimmers. Ooh. Uh, Drink Me, an iridescent blue-to-purple duochrome shimmer tube lipstick. And then finally, Queen of Hearts, a clear gloss base scented with rainbow sherbet. Do you say sherbet or sorbet? I guess they're different things. Sherbet that has a black and gold glitter with red hearts floating about. So you got a trial size of one of these, and I chose Queen of Hearts. Just because of the red hearts. I'll probably save this for like Valentine's Day. But I love their scented glosses. I'll go ahead and put this on. I just have like a thick chapstick on. Um, so I think the hearts will probably like not come out. It just, it smells, so how do they get them to smell so good? If you like a scented lip, I know some people don't. I know some people don't. And if you don't, these are not for you. But I think their scents are really good. Um, and they're fun, and they're playful, and they're never, like, you know, gross or, like, smell like that. But they've always smelled good. As you can see, beautiful gloss formula. Um, like, a classic, like, nothing crazy is going on here. It's not like a lip oil or anything like that. Um, but it is a so solid gloss formula, in my opinion. But anyway, that's what I chose. I tend to pick the glosses. Um, I, know, I try to branch out, but the, <laughs> the descriptions always sound so good. So anyway, so that is Queen of Hearts. So cute. So cute. All right, next up, eyes. You could have chosen Mad Hatter, a lime green satin with lemon lime shimmers. White Rabbit, a silky smooth white slash silver. 
Cheshire Cat, a magenta shimmer swirled with a beautiful pinky purple duochrome, and then Alice Lytle, a true blue pressed flaky with silver reflect. So you got to pick one of these, and I chose doo -doo -doo -doo, White Rabbit. Just because I don't have like a super solid silver shadow, I wanted to just wanted to give this one a try. So I usually I'll, I'll try I usually try them on, tap them on, just to get them on the eye. So here we go. So here is White Rabbit. We'll do a swatch on the hand and then a swatch on the eye. Looks pretty darn metallic. Ooh, nice. Yeah, very metallic. Very nice. A nice white silver, like the white is in the reflect. Let's tap it on. I'm wearing kind of like, I'm just wearing blush in my crease, so we'll see like, what it looks. Very pretty. It goes on so well with the finger, like almost too well, almost too metallic. Too intense for my blood. I mean, not really, but it does go on very, very metallic. So there we go, White Rabbit. I mean, you can, I definitely shoot it out. Let's just, let's see, like. What is Teresa's dead call it? Something inappropriate. But yeah, very, very metallic white silver. Very frosty. I feel like this would be good if you're like Christmas time, like winter. If you're going for a frosty vibe. There we go. All right, so that's what I was able to choose. Just as a reminder, I got uh, Who Are You? Nail Polish. Queen of Hearts. Lip Gloss. And then... The White Rabbit Single Shadow. Very, very pretty. Super pumped. Let's see what we got for the mystery item. Okay, all right. Um, well, I'm going to try to see if I can put this on on top of the silver. So we got for the mystery item, this is called Wonderland Gel Eyeshadow. I have not tried this formula. Oh, it's, it doesn't smell like anything. Um, I have not tried this from Copacetic, but look at that. That's kind of a lot. This is a big sample. I like these little crystal tubies. Let's, uh, oh, whoa, uh, it feels so interesting, like whipped. Um, I was expecting like a ColourPop Jelly Much shadow texture. That's not what it is. It's much like lighter, and I can't even compare it to anything. Um, very soft, very airy. Here it is on the pinky. Look at that color. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this is like the freebie. <laughs> um, not the freebie, but it's, it's like the mystery item. It's, so it's a light pink base with a really fun reflect to it, and the sparkles are kind of like a nice... <laughs> shimmer. There we go. I'm going to tap this just on top, just on top to see what we, we got going. Again, one more in the pan. So pretty. Very cool. This is like... I'm very into this. I don't know how it will layer over a traditional shadow. Looks like it did all right. Wow, got the shiniest lids in the West. I mean, I wouldn't traditionally like recommend layering something like this over a traditional shadow just because like the tendency to just pick up. But it looks like it's doing honestly fine. Interesting. I'm going to have to check out if they have more of this formula. I really like it. It's very, very thin, very, very light, very, very shiny, very, very wet look. There we go. That's the mystery item. Nice. This is a decent little box. I'm excited. I'll try to try on this polish. I've been saying that. I've not been having a chance. Uh, I have a huge crack in this thumbnail. I'm just trying to keep it. It's like down here y'all. So I'm just trying to salvage it. Um, so I've not I've been trying to just lay on like the thick loopy glosses. But I will give this a try on soon. And then that's what I've got. What do you think? What would you have chosen? How do you feel about it? Let me know. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Like and subscribe if you that's your vibe. But otherwise, just thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.